So at Marvel, at the center of everything we do is storytelling. Uh, that's our heart. Picking the right story is always one of the first challenges when we launch a new Marvel game. This one in particular was unique because Strike Force was all about assembling a team of both heroes and villains. From a story standpoint, we needed a conceit that would threaten not just the Earth, but also the entire dimension, or something big enough that it would bring together all the superheroes and villains. I was talking to Bill Roseman on the phone about this. We were talking about who could be the big bad for this game. And I said, how about Ultimus? And there was a little bit of a pause. And to be honest, I'm, I consider myself a pretty big Marvel fan. I did not know who Ultimus was. Awesome name. Tell us more. His first appearance, he just knocks out Thor in one hit. Thor throws his hammer at him. It just bounces off. It just annoys him. I needed a villain who was strong enough to take on any hero, bold enough to command like a massive army, and I really wanted it to be from something cosmic. Ultimus was just the perfect mix of all these things. So Ultimus, as his name suggests, is the ultimate expression of the Kree Empire and their obsession with conquering the universe. The last time you see him, he's like exiled to space, and that's where we pick him up in our story, is this guy has been living as some sort of crazy, super-powered space bandit. It's a cosmic warlord coming back and conquering dimensions. So Ultimus is leading an army of mind-controlled heroes and villains. That army has come to our Earth. All heroes and villains ultimately have one thing that they all equally value, and that is their own free will. So we wanted someone who can threaten that. We also needed this character to be able to give us a bit of an excuse in the gameplay to fight five hulks at one time, or you know, three bullseye, two hawkeye, and a black widow. You know, how is this gonna work? So we needed someone who could mind control people. I think the most shocking team up is seeing Captain America stand shoulder to shoulder with crossbones. Now, if you haven't been reading the comics, a few years ago, crossbones shot Captain America in the back. One of my favorite teams is Daredevil, Elektra, Kingpin, and Bullseye. I create this little story in my head of what would possibly, what would their conversation be? The only way you're going to stop an army of heroes and villains is to create your own army. So Nick Fury has formed Marvel Strike Force, and he's banding together heroes and villains from our Earth to stand together against this greater threat. 